This next model review is a 148 scale, the CH46E Bullfrog. Uh, this one's actually by Academy, and uh, it's a very nice box art. Gives you an idea as to some of the details that you could put on there. And uh, let's have a look at the rest of the box here. Yeah, there's the finished product, also showing some of the details there. Um, but the other nice option is that it gives you the other version, which is the uh, Helicopter that flies the president. And some of the other options here. Well, let's have a look inside. Okay, so looking at these sprues here, this is typical Academy plastic, this sort of light gray. These are all recessed panel lines. Some nice surface details here. Some of the rivet lines, no flashing here. This is a well-made model. You can see a little bit of the uh, mold line here, the mold join, but that's really not important because that's not gonna be seen. Let's look at this other one here. Again, recessed panel lines no flashing this is a it feels sturdy this is a very nice uh, model let's have a look at the instructions here ch46 by academy uh, it gives you some of the dimensions of the model uh, this is uh of the plane as well as a helicopter and then this is the uh, rotor assembly decals that need to go on additional rotor assembly and assembling the body drilling holes where the holes need to be drilled in this situation it's helpful to have a hand drill painting inside when you have instructions on how to paint inside you know this is going to be a quality model some of the decals on the inside and then two options as to how you want to lay out the inside of the troop uh, seating and uh, that's with the, the uh, seating down this is here with the seating up and then one on top of the other and then to apply that on the inside of the body as well as the glass that even give you some of the uh, visuals of what it actually looks like in a real helicopter. And then there's the uh, cockpit, building that out. The guns. And then there are several different options for how to uh, have the uh, back, whether you want the ramp open partially down or uh, all the way up, depending on the uh, depending on the option that you select A, B, C, or D. Then placing the uh, body together again, they give you the uh, details here. They have an inflatable uh, bags for flotation. putting additional body parts on then the landing gear I love the way they give you these uh, little photos of what it's supposed to look like that really gives you an idea as to some of the detail that you can put on there if you'd like to and having the ramp placed either up or down if you had it down you'd definitely be able to see the interior obviously more easily and these are decal placements and then some of the other options 
So, first of all, here is the uh, United States United States uh, Marine Corps, and these are the uh, Squadron One. These are the Golden Eagles. That one's from North Carolina. And then these are the Raging Bulls, also from North Carolina. And then the images of the uh, parts list in, in dark gray here, the ones that we won't be using. List of all the colors. Now those are very detailed instructions that definitely give you an idea as to what to expect in terms of this uh, the detail level of the model, as you can see. Uh, from just from the instructions, you'd expect that there's going to be a lot of detail, lots of different parts. These are the uh, interior wall panels. There are a lot of details here. This is very well molded. Same for the other side. Let's have a look on the outside here. So this goes on the inside of this wall. Some recessed panel lines. Here's our ramp. And the instrument panel. Some additional parts. No flash in there at all. Here are all our clear parts. Also very well molded. Let's have a look. So these additional two sprues here have a lot of different parts. Lots of little parts. Build the uh, rotor assembly. These are the uh, seats for inside. Lots of additional parts. Here's the gun. A lot of detail on the gun there. That's not what I expected. And then the uh, roof on the inside. Here are the uh, parts for the uh, main rotors. These are fairly detailed. And the seats. Interior floor. Some of the wheels. And then the uh, walls on the inside. I do have one or two uh, lines here pipes and uh, you can always add to that to add to some realism well that is a very realistic looking model lots of detail let's look at those decals these decals are very small lots of details here these all need to be carefully cut out in place but there are a tremendous amount of details here and these are very well printed well that's a typical academy model